Hey everybody, welcome back to the couch. My name is Melissa and this is Couch Mom Club. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my twist out. It's 9 o'clock, the kids are sleeping, and it's finally Friday. All right guys, so with every single hairstyle, every method I show you, everything I do, I wanna start it with clean hair. So I am definitely gonna show you how I do my wash. And this process is a bit lengthy because I did wanna get out all of the gel from the last style that I did, which was my wash and go. And we've already talked about how the wash and go is not really a wash and go. It's a wash and process, and then you can go. And I wore that style for about a week and then it got a little stale, got a little crusty, and and I was starting to see the flakes from the gel so I knew that it was time to wash all of that out and start over again and do something new. So I decided to do a twist out. Now this video is going to be a two part video. First I'm gonna show you my process for washing my hair and then I'm gonna show you the lock method that I use to twist my hair. I wanted to call this video the ultimate twist out. Not because it's the greatest hairstyle or anything like that, but because the process is so lengthy, but it's so worth it. And you are going to see what I mean in just a little while. So first of all, let me take you through my wash process. So when I wash my hair, I like to detangle it first. What I used to detangle it was just a little bit of aloe juice. So basically I stripped the aloe plant and I blended it up so that I got the liquid in a bottle and use that to spray every inch of my hair. I made sure that it was wet, that it was drenched, and that it was easy to detangle. Using the detangling brush, I was able to comb through my hair with ease. And you're gonna find that if you use aloe juice, it is a perfect solution to getting out tangles and knots. It is great for allowing your brushes to just slip through your hair. You're not gonna see any knots. You're not gonna see any tough tangles. It's gonna be so easy to detangle when you use aloe juice. So I went through that process, sectioned off my hair, and detangled everything. And then I did my my first wash with my black soap. I love black soap because it is multi-purpose and it is just amazing. I use that specifically to clean and cleanse my scalp. I wanted to make sure that my scalp was just totally void of all product and that it was fresh and ready to take on the new hairstyle. The second step I used was just going through with a regular shampoo. Now for me, there's nothing special about this shampoo, but the smell is amazing. And because the black soap doesn't really have a smell, I like to go in with something scented something nourishing, something that is going to just benefit my hair in different ways and use that to do a second wash. You'll notice that when I'm washing my hair, I never scratch my scalp with my fingernails. I always just use the tips of my fingers to really push that shampoo through and ensure that my scalp is getting clean. And I like to rub the shampoo all throughout my strands to ensure that the product leaves every ounce of my hair. I don't want any product left in my hair by the time that I'm done. So after I've done my second wash, I go in and I detangle all through throughout the process and then I put in my conditioner. This is not a leave-in conditioner. However, I do leave it in for a little bit of time to allow the moisture to just seep into every one of my strands so that when I do wash it out, I wash out the product but not my hair's moisture. That is so important to ensure that your hair stays moisturized throughout all of the process, throughout the shampooing, throughout the deep conditioning, and then throughout the styling. So after I did my shower and washed all the product thoroughly out of my hair, I was able to begin the twisting process. I use the lock method to twist my hair. Now lock is simply L-O-C. The L stands for leave-in conditioner, the O stands for oil, and the C stands for cream. So for my leave-in conditioner, I use TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff smells amazing. The texture is very light, it smells beautiful, the way it feels in your hair is great, and I think that it's an awesome product to use in your lock method. The oil that I use is just regular old grapeseed oil. This stuff has amazing slip, you're gonna feel the moisture and the coating of your hair. It is rich, it is beautiful, and it smells really good. The last thing that I used was the cream, which is the Lotta Body with coconut and shea butter oils. This stuff smells great too, and the combination of all three just makes for a beautiful hair cocktail. It's like, a smoothie for your hair almost. It just smells great. You know that it's revitalizing, that it's moisturizing, and that it's giving your hair 
everything is supposed to give your hair. Everything it was supposed to give, it gave. Like your hair looks amazing. Now after seeing this whole process, you know, you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that if a black girl tells you she has to cancel plans or cannot make it because she's washing her hair, she's not lying. That thing takes all day. When we say wash day, listen, <laughs> it takes a long time, but I promise you the results after you've washed your hair, twisted it up using the lock method, you are gonna find that your twist out, listen, it's gonna be good. And I just can't wait to show it to you. <laughs> but guess what? I'm not gonna do that in today's video. I'm gonna wait till next week to unveil my twist out. So this is a two part series. The first part is the twist. The second part is the out. So the whole thing together makes for the twist out, the ultimate twist out. So you need to stay tuned to see what all of this looks like when it's done. Trust me, these twists look juicy. They feel juicy. And I just can't imagine what it's going to look like when it's pulled out and popping and ready to go. I cannot wait to show it to you. So in order for you not to miss it, you got to join the club. Just join the club, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any new video. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, and I will see you in the next video.